prior to beating the Sharks, Florida, which sits 10 points out of a playoff spot with 34 games still left to play, bested a pair of playoff teams in back-to-back -back games against Toronto and Nashville, we're having fun, said Panthers center Vincent Trocek, whose return to the lineup from injury has coincided with the team's recent undefeated streak. It's fun to win some hockey games. It's been tough for us this year in that department. To go into a break like this with a little bit of momentum, having some fun, it's going to make a big difference for the second half. Trocek was one of six different Panthers to light the lamp against the Sharks, joining Frank Vitrano, Nick Piugstad, Aaron Ekblad, Mike Matheson and Keith Yandel in one of the team's most balanced defensive showings of the season. Overall, 11 skaters registered at least a point. Vetrano led the Panthers with a career-high four points, including his 16th goal of the season. It's obviously good to get rewarded, but it's great to get a win, Vetrano said. Going into the break, that's three wins in a row against some pretty good teams. For me, I'm playing with some great guys. For me, just trying to get open and make the plays when they're there, with plenty of time off until their next game, a rematch with the Predators in Sunrise on February. One coach Bob Bowner said he wants the team to savor the moment and recharge for the road ahead. For after going the 2nd of August 25 following the break last season, he knows anything is possible, when we come back, we've obviously got a lot of hockey left, Bowner said. If we compete and we play to our identity we have the last few games, we're going to make things interesting down this stretch, here are 5 takeaways from Monday's win in Sunrise, point 1. Elite company having already made history, Ekblad is now simply padding his lead. A game after surpassing Roberts Vila, 61, for first in franchise history and goals scored by a defenseman with the 62nd goal of his career, Ekblad tallied no. 63 on Monday night, taking a pass in the high slot and then scoring top shelf to put Florida up 1-0 at 17-21 of the first period. Video, SJS at Florida, Ekblad goes top shelf to beat Janashi's 10th goal of the season, Ekblad has now reached double digits goals in each of his first five NHL seasons. The 15th defenseman in NHL history achieved that incredible feat, the 22-year-old joins a club that features the likes of Hall of Famers Bobby Orr, Dennis Potvin and Eddie Shore. Florida's leader in goals by a defenseman this season, Ekblad also sits tied for fifth among all NHL Blue Liners. In addition to his 10 goals, the 2015 Calder Trophy winner has also registered 11 assists, 74 hits and 30 blocked shots while averaging a team leading 23-20 of ice time per game.2. Mike Check Matheson's speed can turn any breakout into an odd man rush in a hurry. The 24-year-old blue liner lit the lamp for the second time in the last three games on Monday night, finishing off a feed from Evgeny Dadanov on a two-on-one break with an absolute laser of a wrist shot to give the Panthers a 2-1 lead at 6.07 of the second period. Video, SJS at Florida, Matheson one times Dadanov's feed past Jones after setting new career highs in both goals, 10, and points, 27, during the 2017-18 campaign, Matheson has now racked up 4 goals and 17 points in 46 games this season. In addition to his points, he also leads the team's defensemen in takeaways, 32, and blocked shots, 72.3. Bloody Biagi likely never seen someone this happy to have a bloody nose. After a high stick from Evander Kane cut open Biagstad, the hulking 26-year-old forward looked giddy as he showed off his bloodied nose to the officials, sending the Panthers to a huge four-minute power play in a 2-2 game less than two minutes into the third period. And although they had four minutes to work with, Florida ended up needing only 40 seconds. Just 31 seconds into the man advantage, Yandel threaded a long wrist shot through traffic to put the Panthers back on top 3-2 at 227. Heading to his third All-Star game later this weekend, he paces Florida's defenseman and ranks first among all NHL blue liners with 24 power play points.
video, SJS at Florida, Yandel snaps Rister from point for PPG then, almost immediately after Yandel's goal, Petrano jumped on a loose puck after a turnover and sent the puck to Trocek, who beat Martin Jones with a wrist shot from the slot to make it 4-2 at 236, the fifth time in franchise history, the team has scored two goals nine seconds apart. Video, SJS at Florida, Trocek nets second PPG in 9 seconds, a big power play for us, Trocek set of Florida's man advantage which ranks third in the NHL with a 26.8% success rate. Jans and I got two big goals to kind of go up to, give us a little bit of insurance and give us that momentum. The power play came up huge today, in three games since returning from a broken ankle that sidelined him for 27 contests, Trocek has been nothing short of outstanding, registering two goals, including one game winner, and two assists to push his point total this season to 18, five goals, 13 assists, in 21 games, the power play was huge tonight at that point in time, Bowner said. We were fortunate for year of Otrano according to the lunar calendar, the year of the pig begins on Feb. But for the Panthers, the year of Atrano has been going on since October. The 24-year-old winger posted a career-best four points on Monday night, registering three assists and scoring off a filthy backhander that put Florida up 5-2 at 7.22 of the third period. Video, SJS at Florida, Petrano roofs nifty backhand past Jones, sometimes that's how hockey goes, Petrano said. You feel good and you feel real confident going into game after game. That's how I'm feeling right now. Obviously there's a break coming up, but we've got to keep it going. I think the team, all around, is just making me better, promoted to the top line last week. Petrano Winger has now scored in five of the last seven games, pushing his already career-high goal total to 16, which ranks fourth on the team. In addition to his goals, he's also building on career highs in assists 10 and points 26 against San Jose. Petrano had a team high 5 shots, giving him 16 over his last 3 games. Frankie's earned the right to play with those guys up there, Bowner said. He really has. I said it this morning, it's the little things he's done and how hard he's played. He's done a real good job. He's making the most of the opportunity. He's come up with some great offense for us. I'm happy for him. He's worked hard to get to this spot. 5. Luongo feeling good Roberto Luongo is starting to feel like his old self. With a 27-save performance against the Sharks, the 39-year-old goaltender picked up his second straight victory. Of the two goals, he surrendered, it's actually possible that only one should have counted, as Timo Meyer's second period goal could have been overturned. On the play, Meyer appeared to poke the puck out of Luongo's glove and into the net, which would have negated the goal. Initially, the play was ruled no goal, only to be overturned and ruled a good goal later. After that, the Panthers challenged the score, citing interference. Upon even further review, the NHL Situation Room decreed that Sharks forwards Timo Meyer and Joe Pavelski were making a play on a loose puck, which entered the net in a legal fashion, so, with the very controversial goal, San Jose made it a 2-2 game at 13-20 of the middle frame. After the game, Luongo was fired about, about the call, while Bowner remained baffled, I'm confused still, said Bowner, letting out a sigh. I thought when, the official, waved it off, for sure, I would have a chance. They overturned it for whatever reason. I don't know the explanation. I've got to sort that out still. I'm under the assumption that if the goalie's got it under his pad or under his glove and you push it in, that's goalie interference. In his last two starts, Luongo has stopped 47 of 50 shots for a .940 save percentage. Video, SJS at Florida, Luongo uses glove to rob Carlson in tight, it's nice to get back to feeling the way I like to feel, Luongo said. The confidence is there. The guys are playing well in front of me, so it helps me a lot. You know, it's a two-way street. When the guys play well, I feel good. And when I feel good, the guys play well, bonus, Trok Tok Trocek is known as one of the Panthers' most vocal leaders. 
On Monday night, fans were given a glimpse into that talkative talent, as the 25-year-old center spent the entire game mic up as part of Fox Sports Florida's broadcast. In the tweet below, you can check out some of the highlights, which include a new nickname for Vetrano. Tweet from at Fox Sports full, mic'd up, Vincent Strocek shows his passion for the game in the Panthers' huge win over the Sharks, ice hockey microphone.